What's happening people? We're back in the kitchen again and today it is the final day. It's Friday, good Friday actually. Uh, the final day of this five meals, five pounds, five days from Iceland's one pound freezer. And today is the turn of a pizza. So we've got the Iceland pepperoni thin and crispy pizza. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to compare it to our go-to pizza, like a quick, easy, cheap snack pizza. And that is Aldi's Everyday Essentials version of this pizza. And this is 75 pence. So 25 pence saving on, on the Iceland one. So we're gonna take, we're gonna focus on this one with the ingredients and whatnot on the, on, and look at the box. However, when it's time to taste, we are gonna compare it to this because this is good. This is, this is my daughter's favorite cheap pizza um so we're going to see if this pizza stacks up so i'm going to have half of this one and half of that one and she's going to have half of that one and half of this one and then we're going to see which one we both think is the best so without further ado we'll get into this iceland thin and crispy pepperoni so here is the box iceland thin and crispy pepperoni it looks good now, will it have that much pepperoni on it? I don't know. It is 314 grams, which is the same as the Aldi one. That is also 314 grams. So these are gonna be the same size. So we'll give it a go. Purple, cheap branding. They're not spending the money on the branding. Hopefully it's spent on the pizza. Right, ingredients, let's go straight in for that. Apologize for the bad light, it is a, uh, Late evening when I'm filming this. This is our late tea on a Thursday night. So we've got 15% mozzarella, 11% pepperoni, and wheat milk are the allergens, and it says also may contain celery, and that is the nutritional information. Per half a pizza, 426 calories. A thin base topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni slices. So let's just remind ourselves there. 15% mozzarella, 11% pepperoni. Let's just double check the Aldi one for the ingredients. This one is 13% mozzarella and 10% pepperoni. So there's less cheese and less pepperoni on this one at 75 pence. Interesting. Will it be noticeable? Because then percentages are very small. Let's take a look. This one takes 10 minutes to cook. Now, they've been in the fridge for a while, so they might not even take that. So you've got, they're quite thick pieces of pepperoni actually, on this Iceland one. So, three, six, nine, twelve pieces of pepperoni on the Iceland one. Twelve. Let's not get them mixed up. Now, I do only have one pizza tray, so only one of these is going to get the, the correct, like, the, um, the air through from the bottom. Right, so on the Aldi one, there is three, six, nine, twelve, four, fifteen, sixteen pieces of pepperoni. Sixteen on the Aldi one, but supposedly there's more pepperoni on the um. Supposedly there's more pepperoni on the Iceland one, in percentages. So I think that that is due to this, because this is the ice, the Aldi pepperoni, and this is the. Look at that. So the top is the Asda pepperoni and the that one is the Aldi pepperoni. So it's much thin, thinner sliced pepperoni. Look at that. Massive difference. There's probably three slices in one there. So that is why there is more pepperoni on the Aldi than the Iceland. So I'm going to get these back into the oven now. And then we're going to give it a taste and see which one's better. So I'll bring you back in 10 to 15 minutes. So this is the final video of this little one pound 
meal mini series that I called it, I think. Um, yeah, so this is the final video. So if you liked it, please give it a like and uh, let me know in the comments where you want me to go next time for a little mini series. Next week's is already sorted, so there will be another mini series next week from Monday to Friday. There'll still be a few double Dino days, probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week, double Dino. However, we have got a mini series next week again, and it is from Aldi, and it is their they've released five new products in their sandwich range. Eat and go, eat and go. We've got two new sandwich subs, we've got two new wraps, and I've got a new toaster. So we're going to be giving them a go next week. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe, hit the notify bell, so you don't miss them uploads. Having said that, there will be double dinos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday next week as well. Videos over the weekend as well. Plenty more videos coming, and some more exciting news about another trip. We're going on a trip. So, so the majority of people in the comments this week about these ready meals have been telling me to. Don't take the Iceland one pound ones, go to Tesco's and get the hearty food company version at 85p, they're better apparently. So after next week's vlogs from Aldi, the mini series, I'll do a hearty food company mini series if that's what you guys want. Get in the comments, let me know if you're interested in that because and that I'll go to Tesco's and I'll get the stuff for the five, uh, the, another mini series from Tesco's. If you enjoyed it, I'll do it. Right. Five minutes and these are going to be cooked. I'll have a taste. So it is ready and here it is. Now, that is the Iceland one. Remember, the pepperoni is thicker on the Iceland. So even though it doesn't look as much pepperoni on as the Aldi one, it's actually more in percentage and in volume. So this is the Aldi one. Now, they are the same size, and I feel like that that one, I think that one's cooked a bit better because it's been on the actual pizza tray, so it's a bit unfair on the Aldi one. However, we've had the Aldi one before, and we are focusing on this pepperoni from Iceland. So, I'm going to cut these up now, and then I'm going to give you my opinion on if it's nice for one, and if it's better than that one for two. So, let's get into it. Okay, so it's all important taste time, and Dino Daughter is going to try this. That's your official name. <laughs> first, so she's going to go for a slice of this one on the right, and she doesn't want to be on camera. Have a bite of that. You have to eat the whole slice, and then have a bite of this, and see which one you prefer, which one's best. Oh, if they're both the same, just say they're both the same. If you can't tell the difference, then. <laughs> She's giggling, she's not used to this food reviewing. I'll go in as well. So this one's from the right hand side one. That's decent. You got a verdict? I prefer the left one because Ooh. there's more of it. There's more of it? They're yeah, both the same width. Three, right, so yeah, the left one is thicker. And the pepperoni is thicker. The pepperoni is thicker, but you must have you're, you're down here when I was filming it earlier and showing the pepperoni on this video, were you? So mm -hmm. that's interesting that you just realised that. So this top one is the Iceland one, and this bottom one is the Aldi one. So look how much thicker that deep pan is. So that's exactly what she said, and she's right. The pepperoni is thicker. The taste pretty similar, but the pepperoni is thicker and the base is slightly thicker. They're still thin and crispy, both of them. However, I would say that the Iceland one is actually better. One pound and 75p. They're both tasty, but we both agree, Justino and Justino daughter both agree that the Iceland one is actually better. And we've been buying this one for donkey's years, haven't we? So, that is another mini series over and done with. There will be a video tomorrow and a video Sunday, of course. And then the Aldi mini series with the new sub rolls and sandwiches and wraps and that sort of thing will start on Monday. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Tell them to subscribe. Subscribe and like and comment which pizza you think you would prefer. You heard it here first. Let us know in the comments which pizza you would prefer if you've had these both or just by looks alone. Here's another look at them and I'll see you tomorrow.
did somebody say just oh, oh. what's happening people back in the kitchen again hope you're all fantastic to watch it. Oh, 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 oh. we'd be special oh, oh, oh. I just wouldn't buy that again